Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We're back in XCOM 2. If you watched my um, update video, my channel update video, you might already know this, but we're gonna start with another Valkyrie playthrough. What's a Valkyrie playthrough, you might wonder? Well, a few years back I did an XCOM Enemy Within playthrough, well most of it, uh, while with the extra rule that I could only use and deploy female soldiers in the field. XCOM 2 is a bit more complicated, it's a bit more uh, expansive as well. So there are a few fixed characters that are male, but we're gonna try to go with only female soldiers. Especially at the beginning, aside from the few story specific characters that we need to actually use. So without further ado, we're going to go into XCOM 2 and we're doing it with the War of the Chosen DLC enabled. So that was that's also something new for this channel. We haven't been into War of the Chosen as well. Full disclosure, I haven't really played War of the Chosen yet. I played a few missions uh, at the beginning of War of the Chosen a while back when it came out. But I haven't done a full playthrough with the DLC enabled yet. So most of, most of this is going to be a blind playthrough for me as well. So let's dive in. If you're new to the channel, by the way, uh, let me know in the comments down below how you found this video. Because I really want to know. I'm really curious about uh, how you guys find this channel, if you find it at all, of course. But if you're watching this, you definitely found it. So, um, usually my playthroughs are as thorough as they can be. In a game like this, this is almost, well, to be expected, since you can't really do anything else in that. But uh, there we go, everything's loading in. And we can get started in a second. But one more thing before we head in, my character pool at the moment is completely empty. If you want to have one of your characters in the game, let me know with a link to your character in the XCOM barracks or a picture or something like that, a description of what you want your character to be and I'll add it to the game. I will definitely pull those characters then while we're playing. Remember, it needs to be a female soldier, otherwise they won't make the cut. So how, this, how is this going to work? Well, the beginning is the most important thing. Um, we're gonna have to dismiss every male soldier we get and once we start we also need to remove well we want to start with a full female squad uh, that's the annoying thing at the start of this but that's just a bit of set setup on my part once we get that going we're good to go if I get a male soldier at any point in the game I dismiss him he's gone forever that's the challenge of this playthrough it's gonna cost me a few more supplies it's gonna limit me in what uh, soldiers I can use and just make the game more difficult in general. So we're gonna go with Commander again. So last time we did Commander as well. I don't know what the effects of War of the Chosen is gonna, are gonna be, but we'll see about that. Legend is a bit too much for me right now. We might do a Legend playthrough uh, later on once we get more familiar with War of the Chosen. But yeah, we'll see about that later on. The tutorial is disabled, so hopefully that gets us straight to the first mission with a full squad. And I'll probably have to reload this quite a few times to get a full female squad. But here we go. One more thing, I want the drama to be as uh, clear and hard as possible. So we're going to enable Iron Man, which means that I can't reload um, save files. So everything is saved automatically, so every choice I make is final. And Iron Man mode is therefore the hardest part of this game. So I can't start saves coming. If a soldier dies, she dies permanently. And it's over. Here we go. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security. Even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Oh, wait a second. So the, the beginning is even different than War of the Chosen. That was funny. Okay.
We went into his crotch there. That was a bit weird. Um, so definitely, I totally forgot about this because I must have played this, although this seems newer than the beginning of the War of the Chosen that I've played. There were a few options at the beginning, and there's the command. Eh? No need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? I don't think he said something. You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider, report. Almost killed the man there. She looks... So Female, yeah, there we go. You do exist. That's good. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. So instead of the normal tutorial mission, we're being saved by one woman. And here we go, that's more like it. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate a benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. Okay, so this is more like it from the beginning of the game so that goes back to the tutorial mission then but i disabled that so i don't know what's gonna happen now so yeah if you're new to xcom xcom 2 starts um a few years after xcom 1 and assumes that we lost in xcom 1 in the xcom enemy the unknown and within stay focused prep gate crasher 60 seconds And there we go, kicking off the resistance with a bang. Loud and clear. There's one thing that it okay, XCOM pressure. does am amazing. It's basically the music. So there's the first mission, and we're looking at nope, a full squad of women, sadly, because I think the one in the front was a guy. I'm gonna have to retry this a few times then. Oh. I think. I think after about an hour of restarting, I actually got four women. It looks like it, at least. Okay, 
It sure does. We'll see about the names in a second, but this feels like four women. Let's see. I was beginning to think that it would literally be impossible to start with a four women squad, but I think even though they're pretty randomized, those are four women. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the There we go. Who do we have? Who do we have? Beatrice, definitely a woman. Lisbeth, Sally, and Heidi. Yes, yes, yes. We have definitely have four female characters now. Okay, we can start. This has been, it's been a few years since I played XCOM 2, so I'm gonna make some rookie mistakes probably, and on this difficulty that might be a problem, but we'll see how far we can go. I'm just gonna start by moving them a bit further on the roof, which is nice, actually a nice starting position. We start on a roof. So, Heidi, you can go over here. We see a soldier in the background there, three soldiers. The advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Okay, so we really need to be careful here. I'm wondering if we can already put down uh, an Overwatch. Moving to designated coordinates. If you put them all over here, Moving out. and then move them all into Overwatch, so that's Overwatch. all of them it into Overwatch. I will see what the aliens are going to do. They're moving away from us. Okay, civilians. We need to be careful about civilians as well. What the camera... The camera is really focused on that pigeon over here. The uh, pigeon over here. They were really fans of that. So this is in view, but just in view of the civilians probably. If I move someone... Hmm. Probably should go in a group. So let's just jump down. Lisbeth can go uh, into full cover over here. Moving. Then Sally can go down and join her into full cover. And Heidi can go into the uh, part cover, half, half cover over here. I'll start moving with the soldiers and I'll get back to you once start, things start heating up. According to the game, this is still in concealment. I don't break concealment if I go over there. So let's do that. Okay. This is going to hurt if it does. Okay, we do see our objective, but I heard footsteps. Spotted enemy. Ah, crap. Okay. Okay. Not that much of a problem, because they might actually move into the building. Yeah, that's great. Okay. One of them goes up. Which means I can't take him out with a grenade if I need to. Uh, and the other one hasn't seen that we're actually close by as well. Let's see. Because on commander difficulty we're just as strong as these guys. So the advent troopers. Let's focus on the flank first. So Lisbeth, go to the corner here. That's full cover. How can we get on top of the roof? Only through the back. So the only one who has a way up is Beatrice. Beatrice can actually go over here and get a flank shot in on the top trooper. But we can actually take him out with a grenade as well because the floor will drop. So let's keep Beatrice as last and start moving with Lisbeth first. So Lisbeth over here in full cover. Moving out. That gives us a flank shot on that guy with an 82% chance to hit. If we can kill him in one go, that's great. So Lisbeth, your first shot of the game. Here we go. Smack the window, and we got a critical indeed. There we go. Advent Trooper down. From a flanking shot, one ability point extra. That's nice. Okay. Then, we have the one up top and the one in the back. The one in the back, I might even be able to... I'm not going to be able to flank him. You know what, Beatrice? Let's try you first with a flank shot from the roof. So get over on the pipe. There we go. Take aim at the soldier over there. 74. It's not a guarantee, but it's something. Here we go. 74 in a flank shot. And that's a miss. I'll get him next time. This is XCOM. So uh, we're going to get a lot of misses from after this as well. Um, I think I need to focus on the guy up top. I can't get up top from here. And he has the height advantage, which also hurts. Um, Heidi, can you take him out 
with a shot from here. So this is full cover, so that's why I'm moving over here. And then 56 or 26, because that other trooper is in very, very good cover. I think the grenade only does 3 to 4 damage, so we could kill him with a grenade, but... Yeah, let's try the Advent Trooper up there. 56, it's not good. Oh, but we do get a kill. Target down. Okay, then I think it's preferable that we use a grenade on the one over there. Because 37 is not enough. So let's select a grenade and target his... Might even target his cover over here. So let's shred him over here. Get ready for a surprise. Come on, Sally. Come on, Sally, and your lovely hair. Ooh, three damage. Okay, and the, and the cover is still there. So that's our last move. One more trooper alive, but badly damaged. It's going to move, but that's not a... F oh, it's a flank on the back. On... Ooh. Damn, that's, that's three damage. Almost down, but not completely. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So... The only one that hasn't got, so this bit got uh, hurt a lot there. But Sally, I could move you further. We kind of know that there shouldn't be anybody over there because we're closer to the objective. We kind of saw that already. So if you move Sally over here, Moving to designated coordinates. we can get a flank shot in of 84% in the back of the Advent Trooper. And there we go. He goes down. And, well, if we didn't kill him there, I think he might never walk again, because that was a shot in the spine. Okay, so that means we can move Heidi up as well to this full cover. And Beatrice can move over here with a nice vantage point. And I think we probably should keep uh, Lisbeth in the back. So let's just keep her over here in the corner before we do anything brash. Oh, and we get, yeah, yeah we get our captain. Officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. They're a bit further away, so that might actually be a problem. We have three overwatch shots. The first one misses, the second one misses, and the third one will only trigger if they come a bit closer. Ooh, golds. So that's not good. So Beatrice is too far away to see any of those. Uh, where are they? They are far away. And of course not clustered. The captain is the biggest problem. But of course we, ha we already have a trooper with a lot of damage. Sally can actually go into full cover over here. Frame rate is dropping a bit there. But we do get a flank shot over there. It should allow us to... Ooh, 74 is not amazing, but it's better than nothing. Here we go. 74 on the trooper. And there we go. Killed them in 7 damage. Could try and drop a grenade there. And I think I'm going to actually move um, Beatrice over here. And move Lisbeth even completely out of view. Unless I want to get her to throw a grenade, but I think she won't be close enough so let's just put her over here she might be able to help in the next batch of actions but right now she just needs to stay here uh you might even need reload as well there we go reload your gun then we have heidi has a shot on both of them but it's a 50 50 shot on the advent trooper and even if we hit him he might not die but we need to take that chance i think because we're not going to get him uh, down with a grenade. So let's just try a 50-50 shot. Here we go. Come on, Heidi. Come on, Heidi. Oh, and she misses. Adjusting aim. Okay. And Beatrice has a shot on the other one. It's also 50-50. Well, 45. So let's try that. Oh, that's three damage. Okay, that's this is going to hurt. So that's one or two shots. And he's going for it. So marking... Uh, that's Sally, I think. Sally is marked. And he's going to shoot at her again. And Sally is down. Okay, this is a great start, isn't it? This is a great start. The trooper comes closer. And... Hits her straight in the face. Wow. They don't miss. I haven't seen a single miss yet. Three shots and three hits. 
Um, and we lost our first first soldier already. Okay, Heidi should probably use her grenades. Beatrice is too far away from... What can... Uh... Come on, Lisbeth. Lisbeth, go up top. That's affirmative. So Lisbeth can go up top. Has a better shot at the trooper now, I suppose. 67s. So try that, because you can't do anything else. And that's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. I could definitely just go over here and flank shot them. That leaves me vulnerable. I'm gonna have to risk Heidi here as well, because most of my uh, women, most of my girls are actually injured, so I do want to get the flank shot over here. Let's put it over there. 84% shot in his face. There we go, and that was 3 damage again. Then we get... We get supplies as well, but let's put Beatrice over here into full cover. And then a grenade over to... Oh no, are you serious? That's not going to hit him. And we only have a 26% shot at killing him here. Well, hitting him. We're not going to kill him even. So I think... I think I need to just put... Beatrice over here, because Beatrice has full health. Oh, no. No, I don't want to risk it. Um, I'm just going to go Overwatch with her. Yeah, Beatrice into Overwatch. That officer is going to hurt. And he misses. Okay. Thank God. Okay. So that means that for this next round, we can actually use Lisbeth from up top. So Lisbeth, move into position oh, over here. Position then um, Heidi is out of bullets, but can actually get the gear over here, the, uh, the loot. Roger that. Over here, let's grab that. And it is an advanced laser sight, which is great. That That's is actually good. really good. And then we can actually throw a grenade on top of his cover, destroying all of it in one go. There we go. Three damage, but completely flanked right now, completely open to everything. And Lisbeth has a full, a full clip here. 96% chance. Come on. Over the three damage. There we go. Four. Just enough. Hostile neutralized. Okay. The area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Well, thank Scanner God, because we lost we lost somebody already. Go to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. So let's move Beatrice closer and grab that first um, well explosive over here. I'm just gonna reload to just go. in case anything happens, but I don't think anything happens in this tutorial mission just yet. Plans X4. And now we just need to get out of here. Menace one five, rendezvous at the extraction point. Which is gonna Status be? Oh, there we go. Okay, not the best first mission. Two wounded, one dead. It's actually a really, really bad first mission, but uh, rating good. But uh, yeah, definitely not that good. We killed them, but the commander is really hurting here already. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the Elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. So Sally sadly died. We got a poster there of the three remaining women. Uh, so Heidi, Beatrice and Lisbeth, so, uh, but there we go, Operation Gatecrasher completed with one loss, sadly. But we get an introduction to the Avenger, which is always nice, a bit of introductory uh, cutscenes. So sadly, sadly, two gravely wounded, instead the game says gravely wounded, but great gravely wounded. And Sally sadly died. She did get two kills before she went, which also means that... Oh, Vega did get... Uh, that is Beatrice, I think. Did get a, a promotion there as well, even though she didn't get any kills. 
Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the Resistance. So there we go, we can take a picture of her and just remember her by. I'm not going to spend too much time on this right now since we really didn't have a connection with Sally yet. But uh, there we go, let's take a if photo. Anything, I fear we are making it easier for them to catalog our people. And there we go. Then we have Beatrice has so been promoted to a heavy. Experts. The Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. She looks awesome. Awesome with that. So, uh, minigun and grenade launcher, we have our first Grenadier in Beatrice Vega. Beatrice Vega, Grenadier, and we get the launch grenade ability. And I think she's also the only one who hasn't uh, lost health in the mission. So, there we go. So, she's going to be active in the next mission as well, which is great. Then, we have... Commander, each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. As they complete combat missions together, their compatibility will grow and can eventually develop into a lasting bond. Aha, there we go. So all of our soldiers develop relationships over time, but some will grow faster than others. Sending compatible soldiers on missions together will allow their friendships to develop into stronger bonds with tactical benefits. Okay, so Lisbeth and Beatrice have a high compatibility. So we can send them out on the same mission and they will grow quicker that way, I'm assuming. So that's something new from War of the Chosen. So let's see what she changed the into. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. So Lisbeth is our second upgraded Valkyrie into the Ranger with uh, her sword and shotgun in tow. Look at that. So we got uh, Heidi Hagen. Ranger and she has the slash ability so definitely gonna come in handy with the more flashy enemies and then we have Our last Just one like it sounds our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter So this is Lisbeth. Lisbeth goes into the sharpshooter class and she is Lisbeth Nilsson, sharpshooter, and she immediately gets squad sight. So you can target enemies within squad mate sight, provided there is a line of sight to the target. And we did get a laser sight as well, if I remember correctly. But she is out for 17 days, so that's gonna hurt. But we still have our Grenadier, so we might make it out alright in the next mission. So loot, advanced laser sight, increases critical hit chance by 10% and proven. Improving even further with proximity to target. So that's going to be for Heidi with a shotgun. Uh, and then we have five trooper corpses and an officer corpse. And there we go. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. Okay, there we go. So the living quarters. I just wanted to check out who we have. Oh god, that's not a lot. And this needs to be become even worse. So we lost poor, poor Sally. Uh, totally my fault. And we have two gravely wounded people, Heidi and Lisbeth. Other than that, I'm going to have to do some culling. There we go. Poor Sally lost to an advent officer with an advent mag rifle. After zero days on the adventure, she never saw the inside of the adventure. We actually have a problem. Um, there are only two other women in my soldier ranks here, which means that there's literally not enough for a full squad right now. Um, so that means I'm going to have to recruit. Recruit. Ooh, and those actually cost quite a bit more than an XCOM enemy unknown, but at least there's a lot of women. So let's get Alessia in, and let's get Christina Castro in, there we go. Okay, so that's 50 supplies already, but now at least we have one extra rookie. And for some reason I can't even dismiss people. I don't know why, but it might be something, might have something to do with the, uh, the fact that we're playing on Iron Man, but I can't dismiss this guy. Okay, we'll have to see about that later. I'm just going to focus on the female soldiers from here then. So that I'm never forced to use any of the guys. 
They're down into the research labs. Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Well, thank you. So, um, we're gonna definitely go into new research. If you missed the story before, we were captured as we, as the Commander, were captured by the aliens at the end of um, Enemy Unknown, basically. Uh, so the first XCOM, well, the first XCOM in the reboot and that this game actually supposes we lost that game so the aliens captured ourselves as the commander we were just retrieved at the beginning of the tutorial mission which we kind of skipped but that tutorial mission uh, allowed us to be freed and we were kind of jacked into a computer to be used at a life as a live way of uh, making combat decisions um, and that's how we ended up back here so let's go into new research the best thing i think we should focus on first is that we should focus on armor um because we're gonna get we want to avoid getting hit as much as possible so armor yeah, it is so let's head to engineering to find out what's going on over okay. there reworked your repulsors with some of the parts i salvaged from their old engine should fix that stabilization problem you had Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. There we go. The honor is all mine. So that's engineering for us. We could check out what facilities, etc. we can build. I don't think we have any engineers. Nope. No engineers just yet. What items do we have? So one officer corpse, three more trooper corpses left, and an advanced laser sight. We'll equip that sooner rather than later, but building we'll facilities. We'll expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. So we don't have the engineer to clear alien machinery. I don't think I can actually Commander, do that, right? The there we go. So we need an engineer. So a med kit is a definite must, I think, at this point. Uh, although we should go... Hmm. We don't have a support class just yet, so we can't really heal anybody just yet. Um, so I think we should focus on the flashbang first, which I also don't think we need just yet. You know what? Yeah, let's go with the flashbang first. We still have our grenadiers, so let's buy that flashbang. Wow, no confirmation or anything. Great. So with that done, we're going back to the bridge. Good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. 
Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Thanks, Bradford. I like myself a big ship. There we go. I Commander, don't know. Okay, there we're we go. attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. So there we go, a destroyed convoy. Commander, after our recent success, members of the resistance in East Africa, which is where we start, have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Avenger plotting new course. So let's head over there. So this is how XCOM 2 actually works in downtime. Since we're flying a ship, we're actually Command moving it around and Avengers trying to find stuff like this. Let's start scanning. That destroyed convoy, that takes five in-game days. Of this research can only further our advances, Commander. And there we go, hybrid materials, the research is complete. Which should get us the nanoscale vest. And we can research plated armor now. Uh, light armor underlay derived from advent armor. This vest can be worn with all XCOM armors to increase soldier health. Commander, during the course of our research, we made a startling breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue of study. However... If we are to proceed down this path, we must do so immediately, or I fear we will lose our opportunity to return to it in the future. Training center construction. This is also new, a technology breakthrough. So that only takes five days. A reassessment of plant training methods will lead to a 50% reduction cost in the cost of building the training center. Huh. Uh, cause plated armor is still too far away. Um, and modular weapons might become interesting in the future. But let's start with that training center construction then. I had assumed you'd make that there we go. Priority, Commander. So with that done, we can continue scanning those supplies. There we go. Strategic resource located. 54 supplies. So that gets us the supplies back from the soldiers we recruited. And then we get a landmark with an engineer. Uh, that's definitely Avenger something I want to check out. But I'm going to guess we're going to get a mission in between that. Commander, there we go. New target the acquired. continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. So, East Africa, Operation Shackled Druids, neutralize the field commander. It's an easy mission and we get another engineer from that. So let's fly right over there. So leaving that other engineer behind, which is not a problem at this point. And there we go. So this is the team that we're going to use, but I'm going to take a little break first before we move on. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. We're in for a very tough battle ahead. So uh, see you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2, Valkyrie. Goodbye.